Hey guys, I showed a little quick little thing on Instagram about uh, the uh, Vista CNC iMock controller. The, I got the P1AS and uh, I did mention that there were some little hiccups in trying to get it installed running with PathPilot. Their instructions were, follow me. Their instructions were very well documented. Unfortunately, they're a little outdated because PathPilot has been upgraded pretty regular. Termos pretty good about that. So follow along here. I'll show you what I went through. Okay, the first thing you do is you go to Windows or if your PathPilot controller is online, you can go to VistaCNC.com and download the uh, install files you need. I did that on the Windows box and uh, put them on my G-code stick here. And it's the uh, VC-1P1AS for mine, uh, dash Linux CNC. And inside that folder, there are, th th there's the instruction manual for operating the pendant. There's installation instructions for Linux CNC and PathPilot. Um, the reason they're different is that because how Tormach splits up the PathPilot files. And you have a file file, only kind of repetitive. And ultimately in these instructions, it tells you that uh, which folders you need to put where and uh, you know, like get your how and your post GUI. Uh, one of the things it does tell you to do, and I tell you what, let me show you when it, let me open this up. The instructions tell you to go to operator TNC configs and the Tormach mill. And this is where you drop your, uh, <coughs> your how file. Then it tells you to go to Tormach 1100 S3 any to add the how call. Um, I'm running a 770. So, uh, I did it to the 1100 specific. I added it to the, uh, Tormach mill base, which is this one right here because it should populate out to any other machine. And you just scroll on down to you find the how calls, which I think I passed. Directory how, there we go. And uh, right here in the Tormach mill base, I included the how file equals vc-p1as-pp for pathpilot dot HAL. And this refers that back to this application file right here or a hardware abstract layer. Okay, it's only necessary to be in the Tormach mill specific, not the 1100-S3, which no longer exists. They have update, upgraded from all of that, especially once they went to two so once you have your how call in there and you have the how file in here, you are in the instructions that told you to open the make file and run. There is no run button. All this is, is it, this is in G edit is a text editor. It, it, there is no run. So what you do is you control alt X that opens up the terminal. And you see how it says install? That needs to be make space install with no colon. And then you copy all that. Sorry, I'm trying to do this graphically and it's, and keep it to where you can see what I'm doing. So my apologies, where did my terminal go? There's terminal. And you cannot control paste this in, you have to actually mouse this in. Make install 
uh, it does, does it as a super user, goes through, boom, done. Once that's done, she ought to be working. Saving, I've already got all that done. All right. Oh, that's closed down. Yay. So we start Path Pilot up. And this does have a very convenient off location. With it off, you can zero out a reference. Oh, no, that's e stopped. Well, the machine is e stopped. Let's un e stop that. Click, 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 click. With it off, and it knows the controller is working, it goes to the offline mode. You can uh, adjust your step jog percentage, and right, I keep it at 50 right now, just how it came. Uh, you can zero out, uh, got your step sizes. This is in tenths right now. There we go. Let's make it a thousand. Uh, then you have your constant speed, your velocity, and your step, and your different axis. This one, you can adjust your uh, feed speed percentage, spindle speed percentage, and your constant velocity percentage. If you do this on dependent, it does not affect your path pilot sliders. It's still gonna say 100%. Basically, it's like <laughs> you have two different uh, 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 devices plugged in telling the base controller, hey, what percentage you want to run at? So be careful with that. <laughs> Just, I, I see that I, I can mess that up real easy. But anyway, with it set, you also get a, uh, it tells you the percentage of your speed that you set over here. Also gives you your current location, three point, negative 3.118, negative 3.1182. Uh, you can adjust the resolution on this, the decimal points. You can get that extra decimal point in there. It's in the instructions. But if we move this around, I'll make sure I don't crash here because I got some adjusting to do anyway. Well, now that you see me spin the wheel there, how about you? Watch me spin the wheel here. That's constant. And the nice thing is you do have these nice little plus minus symbols. No, that's that's our individual steps moving one thousandth per click takes very little to get that to move at all and this one just gives us that constant feed rate that was 120 inch per minute all right folks hope that was helpful um yeah i just got this just started using it so I, i'm enjoying it but it, it is different. I like that I can take this in there with me. Uh, one little thing, the e-stop, it, it doesn't do anything. I can still jog the machine around and everything. So I turn it off so that I don't accidentally crash it. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I got for you. Uh, thanks for watching. You got any questions? Pop them down in the comments. I'll uh, help out if I can. Um, of course, you can contact the folks at Vista CNC. Uh, I'll have a link down below where I got this from. The USB cable, they do have a longer one. This is their standard one. Hi, I'm over here by the camera and it's still plugged in. It's Yeah, I believe at 10 foot.